Home and Auto is very blessed to have served our local communities for 50 years. From a small used car store with four employees to five locations and over 100 employees, we would like to thank our many customers and our communities for the past 50 years. Home and Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Waupon, Home and Chevrolet in Waupon, Home and Ford and Home and Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Ripon, Home and Chevrolet GMC in Ripon, and the location where we began 50 years ago, Home and Value Center in Waupon. Thank you for allowing us to serve you, our customers, our friends, for the last 50 years. And we look forward to the next 50 years. Home and Auto, great selection, award-winning service, low prices, and a relaxed buying atmosphere. We make you feel at home. The Electric.net. Cutting edge therapies and lifestyle changes. Doubles in the game, and Addie Brown just a band his hand, stepping up first row, Ponte Garrison, Addie Brown. So Addie Brown at the uh, cleanup position, Roz Rivera, the designated player, Ryan Babish, he's batting sixth, and she's a third baseman. Then left fielder, Olivia Lease, Kylie Plyme, the shortstop, and Rowan Harder, the center fielder, the batting order for the Wapan Lady Warriors. Just got the uh, scoreboard here working, so that's good to see. Kayla Kanak is at second base. Mackenzie Luring. That sounds like a familiar name to Wapan people. Very good basketball player. Gave Wapan fits during the season. And she's over at shortstop. Brooklyn Bartelt is the third baseman. Left to right in the Charger outfield. Haley Hess, Elizabeth Elke, and Ashlyn Kianka. Sitting at 2-2 two and two now. The count for Ava Mandazan. We'll change up on the next pitch in, and that's going to make its way out to center field just past Luring and out to center field. So a leadoff hit for Wapan off the bat of Ava Vandazan. Good start there for the Lady Warriors. That brings up Akili Westfall, Wapan's catcher. Akili's having herself a uh, very good season, batting 6 11 on the season. Eight RBIs to lead the team in that category in a couple. Home runs that she's had so far this season. First pitch into her is down in the dirt for ball one. Yeah, nice to have a little canopy right behind home plate and the bleachers right up by the backstop. Great place to call the game from. Comes the 1 0 pitch. That was going to be a called strike. Runner goes. Uh, awkward. Slide in the second base and uh, safe over there. Came up smiling after that, but now we're standing over at second base. Lexi Garrison waiting on deck for Wolfon. Now, thanks for joining us. I see Nikki Broxman checking in, so let's go, Lady Warriors. Want to check in? Just go on the chat and uh, give a shout out to your team. And uh, that one's going to. Ball right in front of the center field to throw over to uh, third base and safe back there. And uh, getting all the way to second is Kaylee Westfall. So a couple of base hits for Wapan to get things going. Our runners at second and third base. And that'll bring up Lexi Garrison, Addie Braun. He is waiting on deck. Girls have to start pulling them or uh, hitting them in right field as I can't see the ones up the middle. <laughs> Where do they go? Right behind home plate. Pitching to Lexi, a big cut, a swing and a miss for strike one. Lexi on the season so far, batting 312. A solid player back in the lineup for Wapan this year. This one, they bumped over towards, uh, you know, flick it over towards home plate, and of course it's not a force out there and getting in easily. He is Ava Vandezan with some pretty good wheels, and everybody's safe. Runners at the corners now for Wapan. They lead 1 0. Perfectly placed bunt up the first baseline, only maybe about 10 feet up the line. First baseman comes in to uh, play the ball. Threw it home, but it was too late by the time she kind of flicked it over with her glove. Let 
And Wapan goes on the pitch. Luke Garrison takes off, but a foul ball on the first pitch into Eddie Braun. Fouls it over on the right field side. And these teams that have met this season, haven't brought that up yet, but the Wapan winning that game, 15 to nothing. 13 hits for Wapan in that ball game. Eddie Braun, four innings pitch, no hits that she, that she gave up. Us. Six strikeouts, one walk in the game. And Garrison kind of takes her time to draw the throw over to second base, but we usually heads over to second base. The runners now at second and third base. Roz Rivera waiting on deck. Kaylee Westfall went off in that game. Four for four with five RBIs in their last meeting. Called strike in the next pitch into Braun. Count is now one and two to Addy. Yeah, we might get a few sprinkles here and there. Hopefully just be able to get the game and you don't want to fall behind and have to try to schedule games later, so it's nice that they're playing. Next pitch is going to miss high and outside. Count is now two and two. Yeah, a lot of great teams in the area to follow. Both Oakfield teams, the baseball and softball team, are loaded this year. Oakfield girls are always loaded for their softball program there. Many state championships, been quite a few of those. He was in at the, uh, the one where Holtz was their pitcher some years ago, pitched the only perfect game they had at state at that time. Kind of a little bounce over towards second base, picked up by uh, Kanak, throws it to first to Havorka to get the out, but that does bring in a run as Westfall scores. And runners at the corners for Wapan with Garrison getting over to third base. I should say not at the corners, just the runner at third base. One out for Wapan. And he gets an RBI anyway on that. Punt over uh, towards the pitcher. Uh, throws it over to uh, first base and uh, safe at home is Garrison. Wapan playing a little small ball, and Roz Rivera bunts in another run for Wapan as they toss her out over at first base. So two down. Base is empty now for the Lady Warriors. Ryan Babish comes up to the plate. Ryan, the third baseman for Wapan. First pitch, going to miss high for ball one. Yeah, I've been to this field uh, maybe once before a couple years ago during a playoff game for Wapan. This was swung on and fouled back and out of play. Definitely have been here before, and that's when we were just doing radio at the time. And we're all high tech. Uh, Justin here, he knows uh, those, those young guys. They're brought up with computers in their hands. They know all the electronics. They didn't try to teach us old guys that. Swing and a miss. Of course, Jeff is, uh, knows everything about it, so <laughs> he's that much younger than I am. One and two, the count now to Ryan Babish. Olivia Lease awaiting on deck. Come right at me. Swing and fall right back into the screen. Keeps the count at one and two. Nobody on, two down, but two runs in for the Lady Warriors. Three runs in, I should say, for the Lady Warriors. <laughs> Behind her. Ball on the next pitch in, makes the count two and two. Yeah, a couple hits to get things going, then the use of the small ball to get some runs in. Pitch is swung on and fouled back into the screen. It's a 2-2 pitch, swing and a miss, and going down swinging is Ryan Babish, but not before Wapon comes up with a couple hits. Three runs score, and they lead this game 3 to nothing after one half of inning. Be back with the bottom half of inning uh, number one coming your way in just 60 seconds on RP Sports. Progression of your disease to help you live your life to the fullest. Don't let peripheral neuropathy hold you back. Take the first step towards a pain-free life. Call New Medical Center today at 920-324-988. Nine, nine, or visit us on the web at newmedicalctr.com. That's New Medical Center, 920-324-9899. Because you deserve to live without pain. Hey, you think it's warm over there? Where 
Where's the AC? We're not getting Netflix if it ain't free. Hi, this is Jackie with All Phase Heating, Cooling, and Geothermal. Soon we'll be in a warm Wisconsin summer. Now is the time to get your maintenance plan to prevent an AC conundrum. Don't forget, we sell and install Coleman furnaces too. Call 920-763-2301. Log on allphasecomforts.com. Providing your comfort zone for all seasons. I know the weather's changing. I can feel it in my knee. Say cheese. If you cringe when it's time to smile, come to Dentistry of Wisconsin in Beaver Dam and Waupon to make your grin big, bright, and beautiful. They can help with impactful solutions like implants, bridges, anthrodontics like Sure Smile Clear Aligners. And if you're looking for simple smile enhancers, they offer tooth whitening and veneers. Give Dentistry of Wisconsin a call in Beaver Dam at 887-2112 or their Waupon office at 324-3881. You can also visit them online at DentistryofWisconsin.com. Let's spring into a new career. Join the award-winning Zaputo Dairy USA team. Zaputo ranks within the top three for cheese production in the country, and they're right in this area. Career stability, great wages, benefits, and more. Right now, Zaputo is looking for skilled mechanics for their third shift, starting wages at over $30 per hour with an additional shift premium of $2 an hour. Benefits start after 30 days. Log on to Zaputo.com and click on Careers. Located just outside of... Okay, we are back in first head bat of the game for Kettle Moraine Lutheran with Mackenzie Luring coming to the plate. First left-handed batter to face Addy Braun for Wilpon in the pitcher's circle. First pitch misses high for ball one. Kaylee Westfall behind home plate. Lexi Gerritz in the first baseman. Carly White over at second base. Kylie Plyme is the shortstop. And Ryan Babish at third base. Next pitch is swung on and fouled back and out of play. Olivia Lees out in left field. Center fielders Rowan Harder and Ava Vandezan. He is the right fielder. And Mackenzie Luring up to bat. Brooklyn Bartelt awaiting on deck. After that will be Lizzie Elke. The center fielder batting third. This pitch is going to miss for a ball. Count is now 2-1-1. Yeah, sharp looking scoreboard out there. Just nice and clean looking. It's nice. I like, I like the, the lighting in there too. Nice bright lighting. Can see it from a mile away, so that looks good. You can hear the rain coming down on the canopy right now. This ball is hit over towards second base. Carly White picks it up, throws over to Garrison at first base to get the out. So one up and one down. And uh, Brooklyn Bartelt, the third baseman, right-handed batter, coming up to the plate. Brooklyn batting 364 on the season so far. And nobody got a hit against uh, Addy when they first met in that 15 to nothing uh, game earlier in the season, a few weeks back. This pitch is fouled back and out of play off the bat of uh, Bartelt. Everybody hunkering down, getting their umbrellas out right now. We've got the canopy. People can sit back here if they wanted to. They can come underneath. There's plenty of room underneath us yet. Justin, who's your football team? Oh, I am a Packers fan. Okay, I, just, I just don't ever go to any games because the tickets are so expensive. So I always go to Brewer game. That's why I wanted Brewer canopy, but I couldn't find any ones on the marketplace. Yeah, I'm more of a let's sit home and watch the game and get a better view and not have to wait in line to use the bathroom or walk three miles to get your car and all that. I'm all, I'm all about watching games from home. Hi to Jackie Wester out there watching right now. Good luck to uh, Lexi and the Lady Warriors. A little classmate from Wapon High School, Jackie Wester. Two and two the count now to Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn Bartelt. This pitch, that's going to miss just a bit high. Puts the count now at three and two. Zielke awaiting on deck. So one down, nobody on, three nothing lead for Wapan. Bottom of the first inning. Right at her and following it back. Nice fight at the plate now by Brooklyn Bartelt. Make Andy Braun throw a few more pitches. Thank you. 
three and two the count to Bartelt. Here's the pitch for Maddie. That is strike three. I think Brooklyn thought maybe she uh, brought the fourth ball on that one and started taking a step towards first, but no, went down looking. So two up and two down, and that'll bring up Lizzie Elke, the center fielder, right-handed hitter. Emily Havorka waiting on deck. Yeah, a lot of youth, a lot of great players coming up yet in the program, and a lot of youth on the Wapan team, and some good senior leadership, but also some young players that'll be back for a year or two yet. So future looks pretty bright for a Wapan softball. Always good every year. We were discussing that before, all the good teams that, uh, like Oakfield, they're, they're good every year. They've always got somebody coming up. They've always got some good seniors. That's how you make a good program. It just keeps on rotating through. By the time those freshmen are up to be seniors, They'll be pretty well-seasoned players, and they got some other freshmen waiting behind. That's what's going on in Oakfield right now. Wapan softball, always one of the most consistently good programs at Wapan High School, along with Wapan baseball. 3-0 the count now to Elke. Went down the middle, but uh, rolls right back to the pitcher, uh, Braun, and throws the first to get the out. So Wapan takes down the Chargers, 1-2-3 in the bottom of the first. One strikeout, nobody reaches, and we'll be back with the top of inning number two in just 60 seconds on RP Sports. Pun in Alto. Did you know that Ergo Bank of Marcusan and Fox Lake offers Casasa Rewards checking accounts? All Casasa Rewards accounts include refunds on ATM withdrawal fees. When you meet the monthly qualification criteria, there's no monthly maintenance fee and no minimum balance requirement. Best of all, you get rewarded for things you probably do anyway, such as using your debit card and setting up a direct deposit. Discover the benefits of opening a Casasa Rewards checking account at Ergo Bank of Marcusan and Fox Lake. New ownership, same customer service tradition. Verhag's Furniture has been proudly serving Wapan and its surrounding areas for over 50 years. New owners Luke and Logan Gans are longtime employees of Verhag's Furniture and are committed to continue serving the furniture, accessory, and mattress needs of Wapan and the surrounding areas. Bringing you exceptional quality from Ashley Furniture, Lazy Boy, Tempur-Pedic, Puffy Mattress, and many more top brands from their store to your home. Verhag's Furniture Wapan, quality brands for affordable prices. Online at verhagfurniture.com. A reminder for everyone that Ben's Automotive is open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. and on Saturdays by appointment only. Keeping your vehicle in tip-top running condition is essential. Call 324-9962 for Ben's Automotive. Get the quality repair and maintenance services you need from the automotive technicians you can trust. Ben's Automotive at the corner of Carrington and Main Streets in beautiful downtown Wapan. Call 920- Okay, Steve Winterhack back at Kilroy Lutheran High School. Wilpon shuts down the Chargers in the bottom half of inning number one. They lead three to nothing. And coming up for the Lady Warriors, number seven, eight, nine of the batting order, beginning with Olivia Lease, then Kylie Plyme and Roland Harder. And Katie Brandt in the pitcher's circle for the Chargers. Next pitch in is swung on, foul back, makes the count one and one. You know, I just discussed that with the wife the other day. I should get one of those heated vests. And she got one for Christmas. Kids didn't think about uh, Dad going to do these games. That this one would have been the perfect day to have a heated vest. So I might go and buy one tomorrow in case we have any more cold games. It's going to squirt off the glove of the catcher. And a yeah, strike called on that one. Makes it count one and two. Olivia, now the season, see what she's doing. I got her batting average down 250 on the season so far for Lease. Was going as high and away, puts the count at two and two. Yeah, thanks for joining us here on Radio Plus Sports. Next pitch, a swing and a miss. Nice shot working on the high part of the zone from Katie Brandt and a swing and a miss underneath it from Olivia Lease. Strikeout number two for uh, Katie Brandt. And that'll bring up Kylie Plyme, shortstop for the Lady Warriors. Number eight in the batting order with Rowan Harder awaiting on deck. It's going to miss high for ball one. Kylie, another big strike zone. A little tall player up there. 
if you can get something going here with the bottom of the order, a little production out of them. That's a hit over towards shortstop and coming in to get it is Mackenzie Luring. Two up and two down now for Wolfon. And that'll bring up Rowan Harder. Eva Vandezan waiting on deck. Some uh, heat high in the zone and a swing and a miss from Harder. One of those players that uh, we definitely got to call her name quite often during the basketball season. Nice run by the Wapan Lady Warriors coming up short of their goal to get back to the state tournament, losing in the sectional championship game to the eventual state champs. Madison Edgewood uh, taking care of business down in Evansville against Wapan in the sectional championship. Disappointing ending uh, for the Wapan Lady Warriors. This is going to get punted right back over to Brandt, picks it up, throws to, uh, for, oh, the uh, second baseman drops the ball over there. So safe at first base, he is Wapan's uh, Rowan Harder. That brings the top of the order up, Ava Vandezan. There on the fielding or the catch over there at first base on the second baseman. Pond still has some life left. Left uh, two down. You got Ava Vandezan up. She singled and scored back in the first inning. And uh, pops the first pitch up over in foul territory. A third base side. Third baseman gets underneath Brooklyn Bartelt and brings it in for the out. So Wapan goes down quietly, getting one runner on, no hits, one strikeout. And after one and a half innings, Wapan leading three to nothing. Back with Kettlemore and Lutherans, half of inning number two in just 60 seconds on RP Sports. 324-9962 to schedule your service or repair needs today. And Steve with us here at the other bar, Main Street in Wapan. We invite people to stop on by this week. Steve, enjoy some great appetizers, some soups, some great specials too. Weather's getting a little better. It's a little rainy, so good time to come in and get some soups. And uh, homemade pizzas are always great. Fish fry is always here. Come check it out. We've got some interesting specials this week. Got the Brewers baseball in full swing, of course. Got the Bucks playoffs. We'll see what happens there with the NBA. We'll uh, hope for the best and come down and watch the Brewers. They're still hot, looking good. The Bucks, well, we'll see what happens. But obviously, games on the TVs all the time, all kinds of great things to watch. So come down and have a, one of our 16 tap beers and enjoy yourself. The smoke off has been postponed, right? Canceled for right now, the one that was supposed to happen this coming weekend. Lots of interest, uh, just no commitments. We're going to keep it on the back burner. We're going to keep talking about it. We're going to try to get some more people in, involved in it. But if you're interested in doing this, come talk to us. We need to find a date, maybe late fall, get some people signed up for it. But with the amount of moving parts in this, we got to know what we got going before we do it. The other bar, Main Street in Wilpon. Stop on by this week. Steve, thank you. Thanks, Nick. Home and Auto is very blessed to have served our local communities for 50 years. From a small used car store with four employees to five locations and over 100 employees, we would like to thank our many customers and our communities for the past 50 years. Okay, we are back at Kettle Marine Lutheran High School and number four, five, and six in the batting order coming up for the Chargers to face Addie Braun in the pitcher's circle for Wapan. This pitch well low for ball one. Kayla Kanak is waiting on deck, and after that it'll be Haley Hess, the first three batters scheduled to bat for the Chargers. This pitch swung on and fouled back. Puts the count at one and one. Yeah, it's one of those cold, wet, miserable games. Always makes me feel better that I can bundle up a little bit as a Broadcaster and the girls, well, they go out there and they've got some layers on too. They're moving around a little bit too. Call strike on the next pitch in. Puts the count at one and two. Well, I'm comfortable right now. Here's the one two pitch. That one is fouled down to the ground, but foul. Keeps the count at one and two. I believe Jeff is a live stream covering all the the games at the the tournament or at that tournament. Yeah, good. So we're looking for that uh, for Wapan boys baseball. They're bringing in some really nice teams in the town. Wapan won it last year. 
Even they put their name on the uh, trophy, the traveling trophy that they have. They haven't etched it on there yet, but it's always a nice tournament. Wapan hasn't uh, been challenged a whole lot this year. They're undefeated on the season. Some good teams. This is popped in the air to short right field, and Ava Van de Zandt will go up and bring it in for out number one. So if you're looking for something to do, go watch some uh, high-quality baseball. Head over to Wapan, head over to the Gus in Wapan, and... Watch some good high school baseball. A few things, teams like I know Lodi's coming to it. You got boy Turner, always makes an appearance there. They've won the tournament a few times. Some good quality teams, all sizes of schools. Called strike. First pitch into Kayla Kanak. Kayla batting 200 so far on the season. Down on the count, 0 and 1. He's back inside on her a little bit. Another swing and a miss makes the count quickly, 0 and 2. Haley Hessel waiting on deck. You have to get down there and watch a few games. But again, if you want to watch any of the games that you can't get there, you're going to go to Jeff's live stream and you'll be able to watch it there. That's going to be foul. Keeps the count at 0 and 2. And we'll have a full slate of games coming up next week. We're just kind of the early part of the season here, so we're not sure uh, where everybody's going to be yet. But try to get to all the good games. And uh, Jeff's got like uh, three different sets of equipment that we can go out and cover different games. And uh, been hit by a pitch, Kayla Kanak. So she'll head down to first base the hard way by being hit by a pitch from uh, Addie Braun. And that'll bring up Haley Hess, the left fielder. Haley batting 200 on the season so far, right-handed hitter. Going to be just off the plate outside for ball one. I always enjoy calling football games here. You get to that part of the season, the fall season, that's uh, kind of a cool look with the woods kind of off of the distance across the field from where you do the games from. A nice little uh, football uh, setup that they have there. Called strike on the next pitch in. Makes the count one and one. Everything nice and close. A little more difficult to do a, a game here for uh, baseball. That one is uh, hit over towards second base. While Pond setting up. Try to turn the double play. And a little late on the throw to first. But they do get the lead runner. Nice job. Getting things going by Kylie Plyme. Carly White turned around to throw to first, but good speed up the line by Haley Hess to get there safely. So two down, runner at first base. And that'll bring up uh, Ashlyn Kianka up to the bat. She's the right fielder. Strike one of the first pitch into her. Next pitch misses, puts the count at one and one. Andy Braun, uh, just a great pitcher, and she's going to be around for a few more years. She's a sophomore this year. Good news for uh, Wapan softball. And I always hear about these young kids coming up here too, the future of the program. So, Wapan's going to be set for some years to come. And there's always more coming up after that. So, this had a pretty consistently good program. A little roller off the pitcher's circle and picking up his brawn as he runs towards first and flicks it to Garrettson to get the out. So, one player hit by a pitch. Said one runner. Uh, they got to first base is all the further they got for the Chargers, and they come up empty after two complete. Wilpon leading three to nothing. Be back in just 60 seconds with the top half of inning number three on RP Sports. Home and Auto is very blessed to have served our local communities for 50 years. From a small used car store with four employees to five locations and over 100 employees. We would like to thank our many customers and our communities for the past 50 years. 
Holman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Waupon, Holman Chevrolet in Waupon, Holman Ford and Holman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Ripon, Holman Chevrolet GMC in Ripon, Waupon. Thank you for allowing an auto, great selection, award-winning service, low prices, and a relaxed buying atmosphere. We make you feel at home. Okay, we are back and ready to bring you the top half of inning number three. And coming up for Wolfon, number two is a foul back and out of play for strike one. And yeah, he's not been retired by KML on the season so far. Four for four in their first meeting. And one for one in this ball game. Batting over 600 on the season. And a hard hit ball and stays perfect. And that'll bring up Lexi Garrison. Got him with a feeler's choice and also ended up scoring in the first inning. Yeah, a little soggy around here, just some of the ground around outside the ballpark, and you walk out on the field, too. That was a little, a little squishy in a few places out there, too, with the clay. And so just got to get games in. That's the main thing. Get them in. They gotta, can't always play in perfect conditions all the time. So here we are. And luckily, uh, Justin had himself a nice little canopy, so that will keep us protected throughout the game. You used to have to have that before. It was just radio. Just come in by myself and have a golf umbrella over the top of me, and that pretty much covered everything that I had to do the game. But great being able to bring you video high and away on the pitch. Runner goes and easily safe over at second base is Westfall. Ball one of the first pitch into Lexi. Eddie Braun waiting on deck. And Cave has got herself a uh, fan club out there. Now we got Alice Krieger checking in. Said, good luck tonight, ladies, and go Ava. So some Ava fans out there. Any Lexi fans? You want to you know, make yourself heard right now? Let, let us know. A live chat. Just send it out to us. We'll get it on the air for you. And the players do get a chance to watch this game later, too, so they can we'll see those uh, messages you put up for them. That runner at second, nobody out. Next pitch into Garrison and well over the uh, catcher's glove. And heading over to third base now is Westfall. So two and one the count to Lexi Garrison. Down with that three nothing lead. The last time these two teams met a few weeks back again, Wapan. Very dominating. 15 to nothing victory. That's a hard hit ball deep out to left field. It's going to clear, yeah, clear the fence. Home run, two-run shot off the bat of Lexi Garrison. Left center field. You can tell right off the bat that was going to give a, a possibility of going over the fence, and she puts it out, and Wapan now leads 5 to nothing. Nice job there by Lexi. That's maybe her third. Let's see what she's done on the season so far. That is uh, got it down for a home run, so maybe just her second on the season. And nothing here in the top of inning number three. Well, just one with multiple hits so far, and that's uh, Kaylee Westfall. And up to bat now is Addie Braun. So that wipes the uh, bases clean out there, and Addie Braun up to bat, ball one on the first pitch into her with Roz Rivera, the designated player, waiting on deck. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Uh, hovering right around 20, 22 uh, computers logged on. Everybody invited. A lot of times we have uh, some people from the town that Wapan's competing at, the school they're competing against, uh, watching and invite uh, everybody to tune in. Next pitch, misses LeBron, and she gets issued a walk. We will get the uh, courtesy runner now for uh, Addie Braun. And coming out to run uh, right now will be uh, Hannah Beatty. And like I said, Roz Rivera up to bat now for Wilpon. Roz uh, 
Kind of sacrificed herself back in the first inning and brought in a run. Got an RBI out of that. Yeah, ask a bunt. You know, she likes to swing the bat, but uh, you got to do what you got to do once in a while, and she laid one down, got a run in. Ball one in the first pitch into Lady Warriors. Coming right down Main Street, runner goes, and safe. Here's Beatty over us. Makes the count. So nobody up for Wapan, and uh, that one just getting a piece of the ball as Rivera on that swing stays alive at one and two. And I don't like taking the Highway 33 uh, exit to, the, to get over here, so I have one, one an entrance further. I always take the next one down and come in, but uh, I always forget that you're going to get a little dizzy as you go because you go through about four or five roundabouts <laughs> when you take that way. But uh, it just seems to be nice and easy or a little more scenic going some of the back roads that they have get here, and it just uh, plops you out right here by uh, Kettle Marine Lutheran High School. So That was a trivia question once when people took Highway 33. How many roundabouts do you have to go through if you take 33 all the way in and then take the turn that uh, the school is on? I think we I think we are. I think this just uh, this is, uh, looks like she's ready to run over there. One of the future guards for the basketball team had herself a nice JV season, so I have some nice games. Uh, this is her sport right here. Little conference on the at first and second base, and nobody out. Like I said before, uh, Ryan Babish coming up to bat. Strike out back in the first inning. Highlight of the inning, of course, that two run shot over the left center fence from Lexi Garrison. All strike runners going through the third and getting the out. Nice floor down to third base by the catcher uh, for Kettle Moraine Lutheran. Jamie Klug with a nice throw right on the money over to Brooklyn Bartelt and put the tag on Wapan. So Beatty thrown out over at third base. Runner still stands at second. Deck now for the Lady Warriors. Babish. Left side hitter on the volleyball team. The first off the bench on the basketball team, and she'll be uh, asked to start coming up in this next season, I'm sure, for Wapan Lady Warriors. And a uh, Foul, but into the glove of uh, Jamie Klug and strikeout to Ryan Babish. So two down, and Olivia Lee's coming up with Kylie Plyme awaiting on deck. Olivia with the uh, strikeout, start things out in the second inning for Wapan. Swings at the first pitch, fouls it back for strike one. Yeah, some of the roads they have you come in, we go past Highway 33, which is beautiful out there. Some really cool looking farms and you know, really kind of enjoy that drive. And yeah, nice little movement when you sit right behind home plate that kind of goes down the middle and just kind of fades away from the right-handed hitters. But no offer on that pitch from uh, Olivia Lease and makes the count now 0-2. Pitch fall off into the screen. Remains 0-2. Now, yeah, thanks for joining us here. If you were uh, tuned in watching the, the game from home or on your phone somewhere. Load inside on the nice pitch. Puts the count at 1-2. and two. Steve Waterhack with you. Justin Schwartzmiller doing the video streaming. And maybe some of our call of this game or an interview after the game. That one catches the inside part of the plate. No offer on that one from Olivia Lee. She goes down looking. But Wapan does come up with two runs off that two-run shot from Lexi Garretson and lead this game 5 to nothing. The bottom of the third, just one minute away on RP Sports.
This game is powered by Seabroxma Electric of Waupon. Seabroxma Electric has serviced the electrical needs for Waupon and the surrounding area for over 18 years. From small residential jobs to agricultural, industrial, and commercial jobs, they do it all. For quality work and prompt, courteous service, contact your state of Wisconsin licensed electrical contractor in our area. Seabroxma Electric at 920-319-1614 or check them out online at cbelectric.net. Call Eli at Torres Tree Service of Waupun. Eli and his team can remove trees big or small, even those hard to get trees. They do tree trimming and stump grinding, and the job's not done until they put topsoil and seed where the tree was removed, clean up the debris, and haul it away. Join the many satisfied customers by calling Torres Tree Service in Waupun at 920-334-5887. That's 920-344-5887 for Torres Tree Service of Waupun. Are you or a loved one living with the discomfort and hopelessness of peripheral neuropathy? The tingling, the numbness, the life-altering pain? Are you tired of taking medications that only mask the symptoms or don't work at all? You don't have to live like that anymore. Introducing new medical center. We are back at Kettlemoyne Lutheran High School. Uh, Karis Winkleman comes up to the plate first, number eight in the batting order, followed by Katie Brandt, then back to the top of the order with Mackenzie Leering. There's three batters for Kettle Moraine Lutheran. Coming up here in the bottom of the third inning, Wapon leading 5 to nothing on your new medical integrated healthcare scoreboard. Last pitch fouled off back into the screen. So one and one the count on Winkleman. Coming inside low on that one, chasing it and uh, bringing it in, uh, the catcher, Kaylee Westfall. And we go about 15, 20 feet away from home plate and brings it in for out number one. So Katie Brandt coming up to bat, the pitcher. Doing a pretty, pretty good, good job against uh, Wapon's uh, batting order towards the uh, bottom half of that, but uh, a little trouble with the first three or four batters in the, the batting order. So far in the ball game, but nice pitcher. First pitch in her swings and fouls it back. Strike one. Comes the 0 1 pitch from Braun and slipped out of her hand just a little bit. She tried to bring a towel out there to try to wipe her hand off, but you can't have that. Back there, told her had to can't have it uh, hanging out of your pocket or anything back there, so she had to kind of send that back into the dugout. One and one the count now to uh, Katie Brandt. Kenzie Leering awaiting on deck. Yeah, catches the outside part of the plate. Nice pitch there from Ron. One and two the count. Here's the one-two pitch for Maddie. That one's fouled back and out of play. A lot of people just kind of sitting along the ridge are a perfect place to watch the game and got their chairs set up and it kind of flattens out there right up by the parking lot. And nice place to watch it. We'll change up this is outside. Count is now two and two to Brandt. We've been here many times, a lot of basketball games here, a lot of football games, baseball and softball. It was going to be high. The baseball diamond is not uh, fun to get to. We park out in that parking lot, you got to go over a hill and you got to haul all your stuff. You had to do video equipment like the Justin has to, and that's a long way to go with all that equipment. It's not like there's a paved road to it either. You just got to go over the top of the, the grass. Yeah, that's going to miss outside, and Brand is issued a walk. Yeah, if I have to do one of those games, I think I'm going to ask Jeff. I tell Nick that Jeff should do that one. <laughs> That's a long walk. He's kind of built for that, for going over the, the, the rough terrain like that, Jeff is. So. <laughs> he actually enjoys that. 
Back to the top of the order now. Mackenzie Learing coming up to bat. Grounded up to uh, second base. Her first at bat in the first inning. That's a called strike on the first pitch in. Who oh, and won the count now to McKenzie? Enjoyed watching her during the basketball season. Uh, excellent, excellent athlete out there. Good team leader. This pitch is going to miss high. Makes the count one and one. So one down, runner at first base for the Chargers. We'll finally leading five to nothing. Your new medical integrated health care scoreboard. Next pitch is going to miss inside. Two and one the count now to Leering. Brooklyn Bartelt waiting on deck. And nothing to rush home for after the game. No Brewers game. They play against uh, St. Louis. Down at St. Louis for a three-game series. Nice little one to nothing victory yesterday for them. Didn't get that run till the uh, top of the eighth inning. Pitch is swung on and fouled out of play. Over on the third base side, puts a count at two and two. Yeah, it was exciting to watch so far. Bucks, not so much. And they have to play the team that they probably had the worst time with during the season. They have to take out Indiana in the first series. It's poked, uh, but uh, well foul out of play again on the left field side. Count remains two and two, that runner at first base. Well, the Bucks, if they would have lost that last game of the season, then they would have been the number two seed, which they were most of the season. But Knicks won the last game, and the Bucks lost their last game and became a number three seed and, and get matched up against in the league. See, so got an announce that he's on the Olympic team, too. He got an announce on the roster of the Olympic team. So it looks like they're really trying to go at it. All the big players are going to be playing in the Olympics. That one is Paul Fowle. Keeps the count at two and two. So we'll see what we do. The rest of the world is definitely catching up to USA basketball. A lot of Europeans in the league, and they see a lot of people from uh, Europe going to be drafted in the uh, first round. He's uh, popped up and uh, right back over behind us. Kind of remains two and two. Nice battle going on between Leering and Addie Braun right now. Kind of has been two and two for the last uh, three or four pitches. Still at runner at first. Well, you definitely <laughs> slipped you. I mean, it, you always yeah. have the option to ask for it. Yeah, she, she has, has a couple times. times. She already has done that. And that one's going to miss low. And a uh, battle won by Mackenzie Leering. It's issued a walk. Two walks in a row. Puts runners at first and second base. And Coach Josh Knopp is uh, looking to officially get called. So we can go out there and talk to his uh, pitchers. They're going to have a little conference. Let's take a 30-second timeout back after this on RP Sports. Your beacon of hope in the fight against peripheral neuropathy. Our team of dedicated specialists uses the latest advancement in medical tech. 249899 because Now with runners at first, and still does get the third base. But they do get the out. So runners at the corners. Got some pretty good speed at third base with uh, Leering standing over there right now and uh, Bartelt getting out with the fielder's choice. Great news, we got the sun kind of trying to peek out over there, looks like a little bit. Looking a little brighter. Looking a little brighter. It's good, I feel comfortable right now. I didn't even zip up the uh, little Carhartt type jacket. Well, we are ready. You're uh, feeling comfortable calling the game, a little chilly. It's going to be about 51 for a high tomorrow, too, but no rain in the forecast tomorrow, so that's good. Comes the 0 1 pitch. That one's just going to miss. And make sure to check us out at radioplusinfo.com, and uh, we always have our list of games when we got them all scheduled and what we're going to do. This is a slow roller up towards third base. Baptist charges, and nothing uh, going over at first base. And that one just pounded in the ground, and a nice little uh, bunt-type result on it. 
And uh, Babbers coming in hard, but just uh, swallows the throw. Doesn't throw it to first. Runner does score. Learing gets in from third base. And KML on the board now, trailing Wapon 5-1. to one. Nice uh, infield single there by uh, Elizabeth Elke. And that one, uh, is gonna, you know, everybody's going to be safe after that one. Just the uh, White just can't quite get there, and they kind of try to kind of short hops and uh, off her glove, and then everybody's safe all around. So things kind of going uh, KML's way, getting a few breaks to go their way, and the uh, base is loaded. Big opportunity here for the Chargers. Couple infield uh, singles to uh, help load the bases here at Kettle Moraine Lutheran, Lutheran High School. Caleb Kanak up to bat now. Right-handed hitter. This pitch is going to be high and away for ball one. Caleb got on, hit by a pitch back in the uh, second inning. Pitch right down Main Street, swing and a miss. Puts the count at one and one. See if Wapon can uh, limit the damage just to that one run, but base is loud jam for KML. Back to back infield singles. Comes the one one pitch. A little change up on that one from Brian. Just pulled the string on it and a swing and a miss again by Kanak. Puts the count out at one and two. Here we go, one-two pitch on the way, misses high and away. I'm kind of free for the weekend. That's why I'll probably get some chances to go down and watch some of the DeBoer Classic over in Wapan tomorrow and on Saturday. Of course, that can change in a hurry when the wife makes up the schedule. We could be doing something. We'll see. This one's going to miss high. He's at a 3-2 count now to uh, Kayla Kanak. Here's a 3-2 pitch. And as a call strike. Right on the inside part of the plate. Kanak goes down looking, but not before the damage is done. A couple of base hits, a couple walks, one run north right after this on RP Sports. Swarm over there? Where's the AC? We're not getting Netflix if it ain't free. Hi, this is Jackie with All Phase Heating, Cooling, and Geothermal. Soon we'll be in a warm Wisconsin summer. Now is the time to get your maintenance plan to prevent an AC conundrum. Don't forget, we sell and install Coleman furnaces too. Call 920-763-230. I can feel it in my knee. Say cheese. If you cringe when it's time to smile, come to Dentistry of Wisconsin in Beaver Dam and Waupon to make your grin big, bright, and beautiful. They can help with impactful solutions like implants, bridges, anthrodontics like Sure Smile Clear Aligners. And if you're looking for a simple... Let's spring into a new... Yeah. And Waupon brings up number eight, nine, and one in the batting order, beginning with Kylie Plyme, Rowan Harder awaiting on deck. And back to the top of the order, Ava Vandezan. There's a bunter way out, but that's picked up cleanly by Brandt and uh, threw it outside. Good job by the second baseman, Kayla Connect, to reach out and haul the ball in to get the out. So one down, nobody on, and that will bring up Rowan Harder. Rowan got on with an uh, error back in the uh, second inning. Just as Justin said how nice it was looking here, just <laughs> here comes the rain again. Called strike on the first pitch into Rowan. Oh, and won the count. Yeah, so on my list of things I should be bringing here too with me, a nice blanket to sit on. This place is starting to get a little cold. Yeah, we're sitting right on the bleachers, right behind home plate. Perfect, though. Just fit perfect to put the uh, canopy on for the top of the bleachers. And that is headed out towards uh, right field, giving chase the right fielders. And hauled in by Ashlyn Kianka out there on right field. 
Had to go about 20 feet off to her right and had a good jump on it. Made it look easy out there. Okay. Okay. And uh, with the rain, of course, that can happen. I've seen that happen plenty of times. Just kind of lose grip on the softball as she uh, came around and the approach, Katie Brandt, falls behind her. But yeah, that's the crazy thing. Uh, they said they can't have a towel in these kind of conditions, and that's what's going to happen. Ball slipping out of your hand, and it's a little sloppy out there. Rain coming down uh, as hard as it has here the whole night. Let's pitch in, it's swung on. And Ava Vanda's hand up to the bat, but the first two batters to roll upon are retired, and two down with nobody on and a 1 1 count to Ava. See how long they play in this uh, kind of rain that's coming down pretty good right now. This one's going to miss high and outside. Two and one the count to Vanda's hand. Like I said, Ava's got a few fans out there that have checked in and cheering on the Wapan team. Also, my angle here, a little pop-up, and uh, that's going to get hauled in by the second baseman. Nice job, Kayla Kanak, having to look up into the rain and uh, right out there, right on the edge of the outfield grass, and uh, brings it in for the out. So Wapan goes down one, two, three. The first time that's happened to him this uh, ball game. Come up empty, and after three and a half innings, Wapan with that five to one lead. Uh, bottom of the fourth coming your way if they decide to keep on playing with this kind of rain. Right after this. The top three for cheese production in the country, and they're right in this area. Career stability, great wages, benefits, and more. Right now, Zaputo is looking for skilled mechanics for their third shift. Starting wages at over $30 per hour with an additional shift premium of $2 an hour. Benefits start after 30 days. Log on to Zaputo.com and click on Careers. Located just outside of Pond in Alto. Did you know that Ergo Bank of When You Meet the Monthly Qualification Criteria, there's no monthly maintenance fee and no minimum balance requirement. Best of all, you get rewarded for things you probably do anyway, such as using your debit card and setting up a direct deposit. Discover the benefits of opening a Casaso Rewards checking account at Ergo Bank of Marcuzan and Fox Lake. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Rain is coming down pretty good right now. We have to take the center field camera down. Can't leave that sitting in the rain. Which, uh, Justin got himself a little wet on his way <laughs> out there, but Haley Hess coming up first. Batting number uh, six in the batting order for the Chargers. Ashlyn Kianka waiting on deck. Pond goes down one, two, three, though, in the top half of uh, inning number four, but still with a nice 5 1 lead. Three runs in the first, a couple runs in the third inning for Wapan off that two run shot from Lexi Garretson. And definitely a problem with a grip on the uh, softball. They're going to keep on trying to drive a ball off between. So, uh, the KML coach over there at third base, kind of drying the. Uh, and the ball off for between, uh, you know, it's just uh, Andy Brown, uh, if they having trouble now with their grip a little bit, and uh, walks the uh, first batter that she faces, Haley Hess, on that uh, first at bat here in the bottom half of inning number four for the Chargers. And Ashlyn Kianka coming up to bat now. Right around right back to the uh, pitcher back in the Second inning, and that one uh, picked up a nice bunt and a throw to first and good hustle up the first base line. That does move the runner over to uh, second base. So KML playing a little small ball to move a runner to second in scoring position. 
And Kira's Winkleman up to bat. Called strike on the first pitch in to Winkleman. She popped one out back to the catcher back in the third inning. Some high and tight on that uh, last pitch and uh, fighting it off and falling it off is Winkleman. Down to the count now 0 2. It's not too windy, otherwise that would be another problem with the rain just kind of blowing in here. On this. It's not a lot of wind right now. 0-2 to the pitch. Now for one, that was uh, low and inside. And nice job by Kaylee Westfall to get to it. And good footwork there by Winkleman not to get hit by the ball. One and two to the count now to Karis Winkleman. Katie Brandt, the pitcher, waiting on deck. Just uh, playing on here in the rain. This pitch is going to miss just a bit outside, maybe a bit high. Two and two the count to Winkleman. Yeah, you wonder how long they're going to be able to actually <laughs> go through with this. I mean, the I ball's know. getting wet, and they're looking over by the Wapon dugout starting to look like... Oh, that one's drilled up the middle and uh, knocked down out in center field by Roland Harder. That's going to score a run to throw over to second base. Not in time. Boy, a nice hard hit ball off the bat of uh, Karis Winkleman right out to center field. Nice line drive. Brings in a run. Now upon with a 5-2 lead. Another run for the Chargers. Yeah, I was insane. You can look over by Coach Justin. I was standing on the edge over there, kind of getting a little lake forming over there. In it all. And yeah, that's kind of a weak little roller up the line. That's going to be a bit of trouble, but now that runs it, fits a runner over to third base. Good job by Braun to get off the pitcher's circle and get over there and make the out over at first base. Came out, would love to get that runner in from uh, third base right now. And he'll run closer to LaPont. Walked back in the third inning and scored the first run for KML eventually in that inning. This pitch is going to miss just a bit high. 2-0 the count now for uh, Leering. With uh, Brooklyn Bartel to waiting on deck. Well, Pond would like to keep that runner over at third base and uh, get out of this inning. No further damage done, but not an easy player to do it against with their uh, leadoff batter, Mackenzie Leering, up to bat. Fouls off the next pitch. 2-1 the count. You know, Mackenzie had a nice uh, long at bat the last time she was up to bat back in the third inning and eventually worked herself into a walk. That just adds a whole other degree of difficulty in, in this ball game now with this rain and the, just the grip that the pitchers have. This is a hit out towards right field backing up as Ava Vandezan and hauls it in. But another run does come in for Kettlemore and Luther and after four complete, it is Wapine leading 5-2. to two. And well, we'll see what they do here uh, between innings, but uh, we'll have the fifth inning coming your way uh, soon. It looks like they're heading out to the field here on RP Sports. Ownership, same customer service tradition. Verhag's Furniture has been proudly serving Wapan and its surrounding areas for over 50 years. New owners Luke and Logan Gans are longtime employees of Verhag's Furniture and are committed to continue serving the furniture, accessory, and mattress needs of Wapan and the surrounding areas. Bringing you exceptional quality from Ashley Furniture, Lazy Boy, tempur Puffy Mattress, and many more top brands from their store to your home. Verhag's Furniture Wapan, quality brands for affordable prices. Online, Verhag Furniture. A reminder for everyone that Ben's Automotive is open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. and on Saturdays by appointment only. Keeping your vehicle in tip-top running condition is essential. Call 324-9962 for Ben's Automotive. Get the quality repair and maintenance services you need from the automotive technicians you can trust. Ben's Automotive at the corner of Carrington and Main Streets in beautiful downtown Wapan. Call 920-324-9962 to schedule your service or repair needs today. And
And Steve with us here at the other bar, Main Street in Wapan. We invite people to stop on by this week. Steve, enjoy some great appetizers, some soups, some great specials, too. Well, weather's getting a little better. It's a little rainy, so good time to come in, get some soups. And uh, homemade pizzas are always great. Fish fry is always here. Come check it out. We've got some interesting specials this week. Got the Brewers baseball in full swing, of course. Got the Bucks playoffs. We'll see what happens there with the NBA. We'll uh, hope for the best and come down and watch the Brewers. They're so hot, looking good. Bucks, well, we'll see what happens. But obviously, games on the TV all the time, all kinds of great things to watch, so come down and have a, one of our 16 tap beers and enjoy yourself. The smoke-off has been postponed, right? Canceled for right now, the one that was supposed to happen this coming weekend. Lots of interest, uh, just no commitments. We're going to keep it on the back burner. We're going to keep talking about it. We're going to try to get some more people in, involved in it, but if you're interested in doing this, come talk to us. We need to find a date, maybe late fall, get some people signed up for it, but with the amount of moving parts in this, we got to know what we got going before we do it. The other bar, Main Street in Wapan. Stop on by this week. Steve, thank you. Thank Living with a dis- If you're looking for someone to take care of your tree needs, call Eli at Torres Tree Service of Wapan. Eli and his team can remove trees big or small, even those hard to get trees. They do tree trimming and stump grinding, and the job's not done until they put topsoil and seed where the tree was removed, clean up the debris, and haul it away. Join the many satisfied customers by calling Torres Tree Service in Wapan at 92033. We are back. This is an, uh, obviously we're playing on because a different ball game from the one you saw, Justin. The game when they f- first met, uh, I think we'll pond put here, uh, especially his last couple innings. Finally, somebody got out. I think it was like the sixth or seventh batter was the first one to get out. Two zero pitch, kind of a check swing, and that one follows back. Makes the count two and one to Kaylee. Lexi Garrison coming up next after that. Addie Braun. I would like to few, put a few of us in the part of your order that they've been getting the runs in right here in the top three, four batters. So I would like to do some damage right here. And uh, for the person to get it going, Kaylee Westfall, 2-1 the count. count. Katie Brandt still in the pitcher's circle for the Chargers. He's that one up high, and it's uh, drifting out of play over the left field side. It does put the count at 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, the battle on those four pitchers here uh, just trying to have a ball that they can uh, grip and do what they need to do with the softball on their pitches. And pretty slippery. Who's going to miss outside? Makes the count three and two. That's right. Look in from uh, Brant, and that one's going to miss high. So Keeley is issued a walk. Two of the count now for uh, Lexi, and a, a kind of a brigade of uh, drying some softballs off and, and keeping as dry as they can softballs in the game. Kevin Ryan Lutheran coach is out there and is kind of drying it in his pocket, and, uh, kind of sending it out there after every couple of pitches. James Ott. Coach for uh, the Chargers. Rarely do you see an umpire not allow a pitcher to have a towel on him. I've never seen that. I've never really, uh, yeah, I've never seen that being an, an issue before. But it was a 2-0 pitch, and that one's going to miss low one inside. Puts the count at 3-0. and <laughs> Just threw one out. And bringing in another dry one, so just kind of trying to a little brigade of keeping the, the softballs as dry as they can, and uh, bringing a dry one now for the uh, pitcher Katie Brandt, or as dry as it can be. Too bad it's not the major league; they just would have threw a new ball in every pitch if it got close to touching the ground. And place in New Jersey, I just found that out, and I was reading have our things on our uh, sister station on the Great Ninety Eight. Well, things you didn't know, you didn't know. And uh, they say all the balls that you see in the farm teams and also with Major League Baseball uh, go to a place in New Jersey and they rub them down with mud from there. Then send them off to be used. Strike on the next pitch in and uh, heading over to second base is Lexi Garrison. The runners now at second and third for the Lady Warriors. And he brought up to bat. 
Has ground out so far in the game, but got an RBI on that, and also uh, has walked. Two strikes on the first pitch into Braun, makes the count 0-2. Looking forward to a nice weekend off, so we'll hopefully come up with something fun to do. We were at Dora County last weekend, and had a nice time up there uh, staying in Fish Creek. Oh, ball past the catcher, and uh, easily scoring will be Pons uh, Kaylee Westfall, and that moves Gerritsen over to third base, so. Well, Pond now leads 6-2. to two. So The runner standing at third, and uh, still nobody out for the Lady Warriors. And he brought down to the count, one and two. Rod, yeah, not Ross Rivera, but it looks like Harley White awaiting on deck. It's kind of going back and forth with that de designated player and flex player. It's popped in the air, but it's going to make its way out of play. Off the bat of Braun, keeps the count at one and two. Yeah, flex and defend, or no, designated player, just a good way to can use them as much as you want back and forth, uh, whether it's uh, hitting or running the bases, playing defense, and that's going to score away from the catcher, and uh, Gerritsen is now going to score from third base. So two runs in, and tell you, look, Haley and Lexi have scored every time that they've come to bat, all three innings that they've batted so far in the first, in the third, and in the fifth. Of course, uh, Gerritsen with that two-run shot. In the third inning to uh, bring in Kaylee Westfall and herself. Seven two now with Wopan uh, leading this ball game, and that's hit high in the air out towards center field. Center fielder Elizabeth Elke out there uh, gets underneath it and hauls it in for the out. So that is just uh, out number one. Yeah, now Carly White steps to the plate for her first at bat of the game. She's been out there running. Of course, playing second base. Now gets her first at bat of the ball game here in the fifth inning. One down. Ryan Babish uh, waiting on deck. And on deck circles a little soggy over there where uh, Ryan's uh, trying to warm up right now and swing the bat. I walked out there to talk to the coach, and that was pretty squishy when I went out there before. Oh, won the count now to uh, Rivera, or to White. This pitch is going to miss high and away. Count is now one and one. So nobody on base for Wapan. One down, one one pitch. White goes down low to swings and follows the ball off for another strike. Count is now one and two. We keep on uh, trying to bring in as uh, dry ball as they uh, possibly can. One and two of the count now to uh, Carly. Some of his high and away. Puts a count at two and two. And not a fun night. Uh, both uh, pitchers struggling a, a bit with the Soggy conditions out here and the grip they have on the softball. 2-2 two -two pitch. It's going to miss about chin level high. Puts the count at 3-2. and two. Three two pitch now from a Brant and a nice pitch bringing it high in the zone and a swing and a miss by Carly White. She goes down swinging. Four out number two and that'll bring up Ryan Babish. Her third at bat of the ball game, struck out in the first and the third inning so far in the game. Pitch into her, misses high for ball one. Last game of the week here for the Lady Warriors. They play against the team that's undefeated going into the day in conference play, Plymouth Panthers. They're 4-0 right now and leading the East Central Conference. They'll be playing at home against Plymouth. Uh, the jury meet on the field next week, Tuesday at 445, scheduled start. So get on down there and uh, cheer on your Lady Warriors in that ball game. 
And for uh, Kellenroy and Luther, and they're playing tomorrow. Now, the conference game will be playing uh, right here on this field against the Ripon Tigers. Pitch misses just a bit high into Babish. Three and one on the count now. Two down and uh, two runners in. Seven uh, two lead for Wapan. That's popped in the air in the infield. Shortstop Kenzie Leering uh, gets underneath it, gets the up, but not before the damage is done. Just a, a couple of walks, no hits for Wapan. They do get in uh, two runs on some uh, pitches I got past the catcher, and they lead this game now 7-2. to two. And we'll be back with the uh, bottom half of inning number five coming your way right after this in RP Sports. When living with the discomfort and hopelessness of peripheral neuropathy, the tingling, the numbness, the life-altering pain, are you tired of taking medications that only mask the symptoms or don't work at all? You don't have to live like that anymore. Introducing New Medical Center, your beacon of hope in the fight against peripheral neuropathy. Our team of dedicated specialists uses the latest advancement in medical technology to help you regain control of your life. Our personalized treatment plans are designed to reduce your pain, improve your balance, and restore your quality of life, all while targeting the cause of your neuropathy. We believe in a holistic approach, combining cutting-edge therapies and lifestyle changes that can slow down, stop, or even reverse the progression of your disease to help you live your life to the fullest. Don't let peripheral neuropathy hold you back. Take the first step towards a pain-free life. Call New Medical Center today at 920-324-9899 or visit us on the web at newmedicalctr.com. That's New Medical Center. Luther High School rain continues to fall. Pond comes up with two runs in the top of the fifth. And the Chargers bring up this inning up to the plate. Number two, three, and four in the batting order. Brooklyn Bartelt, followed by Lizzie Elke, and then Emily Havorka. This pitch is high and away, makes it a 2 0 count. So far, Brooklyn on the night has struck out and got on with a fielder's choice. First two at-bats. Yeah, that was right back to the pitcher. Nice job by Addy Braun. Good reaction there. Just picks it up and throws it over to first base to Garrison to get the out. So one down, Lizzie Elke coming up now. She's grounded out. She had a single. One of the two singles in a row. The only two hits for... A KML in the ball game. Yeah, that back in the third inning. Pitch into her is fouled back and out of play. That's a, yeah, it's a bit of a scary place to park your car right there. It's yeah, that's just looking for a, what's what's the name of the safe light? The safe light to come over here and have to replace the windshield. Pitch, and that is swung on, but fouled on the ground over on the third base side. Now two strikes on Elke. <coughs> oh, and to the count on the center fielder for the Chargers. With Emily Havorka waiting on deck. Oh, a nice fastball right down the middle and a swing and a miss. By Lizzie Elke, two down. And now uh, nobody on, and that'll bring up Emily Havorka. So far has flown out and had, had that, that single back in the, the third, third inning. Pitch is swung on and fall back and out of play. I kind of know how that goes when you go to these games that everybody uh, sees the ball go back there and they're secretly wanting that to hit a car, unless it's their car. Otherwise, they're uh, all about that. They kind of enjoy that. That's going to be a nice hit up the middle off the bat of Havorka. Nice little stroke on that. Gets it out to center field. Gets her second hit of the ball game. So Chargers getting a uh, base runner with... Uh, Two down. And that will bring up Kayla Kanak up to bat. And bringing out a uh, 
run it right now. Didn't see what number that was. Just came out. Okay. The three is uh, Kira Schultz running now at first base. Yeah, Coach Otto, too, that's kind of nice what they, they hand me here. Instead of the little uh, lineup that they usually hand, it's a nice little regular 8 by 11 uh, sheet that, that everything's nicely put on there, and it's kind of handy. It looks really good, nice and easy to read it. It's all printed out, typed out, it works. Came with a knack with a uh, foul on the first pitch in, 0 and 1 the count. And runner at first base. Five run lead by the Lady Warriors. Bottom of the fifth inning. Eddie yeah. Brown with the uh, pitch, and uh, that's going to catch the uh, leg or foot or ankle uh, somewhere where it stung a little bit to uh, Kanak, and she's going to head down the first base line, hit by a pitch. Runners at first and second base. And that will bring up uh, Haley Hess up to the plate, the left fielder. She's walked and uh, scored back in the fourth inning. Also got out with the fielder's choice back in the second inning. Yeah, it's tough on those pitchers. You might have a good grip on the ball for a couple of pitches, zip a couple of nice ones in like that, and all of a sudden just gets a little wet, and then you lose it, and you end up hitting a batter or throwing over the top of the catcher or something. Keeping it low on that one, a swing and a miss, quickly makes the count 0 2. So, you know, runners at uh, first and second now for the Chargers, but they trail by five, one leading 7 to 2. Bottom of the fifth inning. And that one right down the middle, no offer by Haley Hess. Goes down looking. A couple of runners get on, one hit, one player hit by a pitch, one strikeout, two strikeouts, I should say. And nobody scores, and after five complete, Wapon leading this game 7-2 to two. back after this on RP Sports. Hey, you think it's warm over there? Where's the AC? We're not getting Netflix if it ain't free. Hi, this is Jackie with All Phase Heating, Cooling, and Geothermal. Soon we'll be in a warm Wisconsin summer. Now is the time to get your maintenance plan to prevent an AC conundrum. Don't forget, we sell and install Coleman furnaces too. Call 920-763-2301. Log on allphasecomforts.com. Providing your comfort zone for all seasons. I know the weather's changing. I can feel it in my knee. Say cheese. If you cringe when it's time to smile, come to Dentistry of Wisconsin in Beaver Dam and Waupon to make your grin big, bright, and beautiful. They can help with impactful solutions like implants, bridges, anthrodontics like Sure Smile Clear Aligners. And if you're looking for simple smile enhancers, they offer tooth whitening and veneers. Give Dentistry of Wisconsin a call in Beaver Dam at 887-2112 or their Waupon office at 324-3881. You can also visit them online at DentistryofWisconsin.com. Let's spring into a new career. Join the award-winning Zaputo Dairy USA team. Zaputo ranks within the top three for cheese production in the country, and they're right in this area. Career stability, great wages, benefits, and more. Right now, Zaputo is looking for skilled mechanics for their... Log on to Zaputo.com and click on Careers. Located just outside of Wapan in Alto. Did you know that Ergo Bank of Marquezan and Fox Lake offers Casasa Rewards checking accounts? All Casasa Rewards accounts include refunds on ATM withdrawal fees. When you meet the monthly qualification criteria, there's no monthly maintenance fee and no minimum balance requirement. Best of all, you get rewarded for things you probably do anyway, such as using your debit card and setting up a direct deposit. Discover the benefits of opening a Casasa Rewards checking account at Ergo Bank of Marquezan and Fox Lake. New ownership, same. Okay, we are back at Kettle Marine Lutheran High School, and we are still playing ball, and it is still raining. Yeah, to try to stop the little bit of flood that's kind of uh, making my pants wet on the right side here, but everybody's wet here tonight. Not going to complain about that. Amelia Jones getting her first at bat of the ball game up to bat for Wapana in the number seven spot. 
So Kylie Plyme is awaiting on deck for the Lady Warriors. This pitch is going to be low. 2 and 0 oh the count now for Amelia. <laughs> no, that's all right. <laughs> okay, 2 0 oh the count now to Jones. Pitch from Brant, that one. Uh, but hit me right in the forehead. <laughs> there was no screen here. Three and all the count now to Jones. Yeah, just a steady rain. This is a miserable game, but these teams all realize how stopping a game too early. It's a slow roll over to second base. Kanak charges and just flips it over to Havorka at first base to get the out. So a ground out in the infield to uh, Amelia Jones brings up Kylie Plyme, who has lined out actually a couple times in the ball game so far. Ball on the first pitch in. This is a different pitcher, isn't it? I think we can see that. This is a uh, Karis Winkleman. Yeah. Looks the same girl. Is that, that is this Winkleman? Okay, Karis. Okay. Yeah, Winkleman out there uh, pitching. Two over the count. And two ply minutes. Swung on the next pitch and a uh, foul back and out of play. A lot of balls making it out to the parking lot. Pretty loud bangs yet, so. <laughs> Makes it count three and one. Seven two lead for Wapan as we are in the top of the sixth inning. Got a ways to go yet. Got to get these games in. Got to get them in. Uh, it's hard to make things up later on. And uh, once you start going, got to kind of finish. And that was going to miss high. So Kylie Plyme, he is issued a walk. So one down, runner at first base uh, for the Lady Warriors, and up the bat is Rowan Harder. Come out with an error and also has flown out to right field. Runner goes, that one squirts away from the catcher, and uh, trying to get two out of it, and uh, easily going to get two bases out of that as that one squirted away in the worst spot uh, possible along the fence. Long run for either the first baseman or the catcher to get to it, and You're going to run her at third for Wapan with that five-run lead. Showing Bunt brings the bat back, called strike. I know I did not get a chance to eat supper before I left, too, so I got a lot of great dining choices along the way. No place I want to go into because I have my wet pants, so I don't want to walk in with wet pants anywhere. But any place with a drive-through, we'll probably go back into Jackson on the way home. Okay, two one the count. Uh, well, Pond's rolling harder, top of the order. Eva Vandezan waiting on deck. Yeah, so a slow roller over to a Winkleman throws it over to second base, but that does score another run for Wolfon. Oh, nice job by uh, Harder, putting the ball in play and getting that run in from uh, third base. That was all set up with that uh, ball that got away from the catcher and all the way shot over towards the backstop getting two bases, and that's that run that just came in. So two down, one run in, top of the order, Ava Vandezan up to bat. First pitch in and hits that hard out towards the left center field. It's going to make it all the way to the fence. Ava puts on her jets, gets over to second base. Long strides of Ava Vandezan getting herself all the way to second. Gets herself a double. 
And you got uh, your best hitter coming up to bat with Kaylee Westfall. A couple singles has been walked. She has scored three times in the ball game, as has uh, Lexi Gerritsen. Uh, one for worth two in the ball game, but got on all three times. Had a two-run shot back in the third inning, but she scored three times two in the ball game. Kaylee Westfall batting over 600 on the season, two for two in this game, with including a walk in here too. Up to bat for Wapan. This pitch in, no offer from Westfall. The call strike. Owen won the count. Rain just steadily seems to get just a little stronger. You think maybe hopefully it's going to die down, but no. I'm glad I called, called Justin up and told him to, heard you might have a, a canopy. That's been paying dividends here in this ballgame. One one count, and that's it out towards the right field, but it's foul territory out uh, deep in right field. We're all set to head home and score another run for Wopan. They lead 8-2 to two now in the top of the sixth inning. And with another over inning and a half to play here, it uh, seems like an eternity for this game to, to get done. It's trouble, trouble for the uh, pitchers trying to get a good grip on the ball so they're not as accurate as they normally would be. So it's low and inside. Two and two the count now to Westfall. And they're looking for another dry ball right now. <laughs> so they'll throw off the side of the dugout. <laughs> Up to bat for Wapan. Here's the 2 2 pitch. Hits that one hard out towards left center field. That's going to drop in and bring a run in for Wapan. An RBI single for Kaylee Westfall. All over that one and drills it out to left center. It's herself another uh, RBI. Three for three in the game now for Kaylee. We, we just might, uh, when this thing is done, just dry, dry <laughs> off and let them get dry off and, and uh, just be done with it for the night. We'll see. We have a feeling that we want to do. This one just is inside into Garrison. Says she scored three times, got him with a fielder's choice back in the first inning. Two on home run in the third inning. Got a walk and scored in the fifth inning. And that was hit out towards right field. That's going to be a base hit for Garrison. And Westfall heads over to third base. They throw it in on runners at the corners. So the deadly, uh, deadly part of the order for Wapan, number two and three in the batting order, Westfall and Garrison. Doing some damage again. Westfall gets all the way over to third base. Runners now at the corners for Wapan. Two runs into the inning. 9-2 lead now for the Lady Warriors. Hopefully the bus driver's keeping the bus nice and warm. Everybody's going to be soaked when they get back in that bus. In the rain, the wetness of the ball, uh, playing a factor in that with Karis Winkleman losing the grip. It kind of rolls across the plate. 1-0 the count. Carly White awaiting on deck with runners at the corners for Wapan. Pitch misses inside. 2-0 the count now to Braun. Will pitch now for Karis Winkleman. That's going to miss inside. No extending of the plate either during, <laughs> during the rain. 3-0 the count. Here's the 3-0 pitch. That one rolls across the plate too, and now bases are loaded for Wapan. I think Carly White has a home run power in her bat. She really uses this head after six. She gets a pass the catcher over the top of her uh, head to high pitch. 
Ball one and brings the uh, runner in Westfall scores for the fourth time in the ball game. Puts Garretson over at uh, second or uh, second base now or third base for her. Runners at second and third from Wapan and Garretson trying to score for the fourth time in the game too, standing at third base. For one of those pass balls. Life not easy for the pitchers here tonight. Might be one of the more rainy, most rainy games I think I've called in all the years that I've done games that they're still playing in it, but it's just the uh, nature of the beast here, trying to get games in, trying to finish them. You don't want to get behind in your schedule. Yeah, that mid-April, early April time is always really tough for games. And uh, that one goes over the head of the catcher. Uh, Garrison uh, sludges in home. <laughs> and uh, everybody doesn't, doesn't care anymore. <laughs> Ryan Babish laughing as he gave her a high five as she went in, but she's got a whole side full of mud yeah, and clay. Somebody's got to <laughs> clean her pants. That's going to be yeah, happens here at the bottom half of the inning. And, and they double by uh, Ava Vandesan, single by Kaylee Westfall. Missy Garrison got herself a single. And the runner standing at third base for Opa right now, and uh, they're going to uh, get that run in with Hannah Beatty. Scoots home. And now Opa leading by 10, 12 to 2. I thought that was a lot to ask uh, going into the inning, but it is five runs into the inning, now a 10 run lead, and Opa yeah, leading by 10 would like to uh, get a chance to just uh, end this thing in six now with a 10 run lead. I think everybody here, maybe even the KML people, would like to see this. Let's just kind of, hopefully, it's done. Strike into uh, Babish. Struck out a couple of times and also has flown out to the shortstop so far in the ball game. Runner at first base. This one's going to miss about chin level. Makes it a one-one count. Makes me appreciate my uh, winter season. I know it's cold getting to the game sometimes, but you know it's a nice climate controlled, uh, dry place to call a game from. Yeah, the hockey games are kind of cold. <laughs> yeah. That's around our area, I guess. guess. In the local area, I would say actually it was hockey, which is about 90 Mac one, just 15 minutes from here. That's where I played my college hockey. And it, it, Super warm inside, like in the bleachers and everything like that, but on the ice, you don't feel that it's a nice, cool temperature on the ice. I mean, like, like certain rinks, there's like Fond du for instance, that's where I played high school. It's cold. Yeah. It's, it's just cold. There's no warm. It's just cold. Yeah, I, kept, uh, I guess I, uh, you wouldn't look at it this way, but uh, well, this one's a slow roller over to third base. Picked up, throw in first, and they do get the up, but not before Wapan comes up with five runs in the inning and leads this game 12 to 2. A 10 run lead is the key point in this whole thing and we'll see if KML can extend the game by getting at least a run this next inning. We'll find out right after, after this, this on RP Sport. Customer service tradition. Verhag's Furniture has been proudly serving Waupon and its surrounding areas for over 50 years. Of a reminder for everyone that Ben's Automotive is open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. and on Saturdays by appointment only. Keeping your vehicle in tip-top running condition is essential. Call 324-9962 for Ben's Automotive. Get the quality repair and maintenance services you need from the automotive technicians you can trust. Bent's Automotive at the corner of Carrington and Main Streets in beautiful downtown Wapan. Call 920-324-9962 to schedule your service or repair needs today. And Steve with us here at the other bar, Main Street in Wapan. We invite people to stop on by this week. Steve, enjoy some great appetizers, some soups, some great specials too. Weather's well, getting a little better. It's a little rainy, so a good time to come in and get some soups. And uh, homemade pizzas are always great. Fish fry is always here. Come check it out. We've got some interesting specials this week. Got the Brewers baseball in full swing, of course. Got the Bucks playoffs. We'll see what happens there with the NBA. We'll uh, hope for the best and come down and watch the Brewers. They're so hot and looking good. Bucks, 
we'll, we'll see what happens. But obviously, games on the TVs all the time, all kinds of great things to watch. So come down and have a one of our 16 tap beers and enjoy yourself. The smoke off has been postponed, right? Canceled for right now. The one that was supposed to happen this coming weekend. Lots of interest, uh, just no commitments. We're gonna keep it on the back burner. We're gonna keep talking about it. We're gonna try to get some more people in, involved in it. But if you're interested in doing this, come talk to us. We need to find a date, maybe late fall, get some people signed up for it. But with the amount of moving parts in this, we gotta know what we got going before we do it. The other bar, Main Street in Wilpon. Stop on by this week. Steve, thank you. Thanks, Nick. Okay, we are back. Bottom half of inning number six. Wilpon scores five in the top of the six to open up a ten-run lead. And Hattie Braun's going to be facing number seven, eight, and nine of the batting order. Two old the count. And here we go. Another pitch and a swing and a miss. There we go. Just give Maddie a dry ball. Of course, then that means your hands are your hands are probably constantly wet out there, so there's no towel to dry them with. Yeah, it is soupy out there right now. There's a lot of dirty uniforms. That's it over towards the shortstop. Throw over to first base in the time. Nice stretch there at first base by uh, Garretson. Nice play at shortstop by Kylie Plyme. Yeah, you got Lake Winnebago over in front of the Wild Pond dugout. <laughs> I mean, like, it, it looks completely dry comparably yeah. to, I mean, the KML's dugout looks soaked, soaked and then the Wild Pond's just, just there's water everywhere. Must, must be where they, they make the drain, <laughs> drain go on the field. So, uh, hit, hit over towards third, third base, pick up, and a perfect, perfect throw over there by uh, Wild Pond's uh, third baseman Ryan Babish over there right on the money. They'd get a lot of grief from their teammates if they didn't make those plays out there and somehow a run gets in. And, and, then you, and the trick is trying to get out of your drive. Of course, you got a little work area here. You can get stuff all kind of put away. And That's why yeah, I park so close now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've got to walk so far. Well, the strike makes the count one and two. With two down, nobody on for uh, Kettle Brain Luther. And ten run lead for Wapon here, bottom of the sixth. We'd like to wrap it up right now. I think everybody would like to go home and uh, dry off. Hey, not us. We're pretty dry. Yeah, I've been pretty seen good. Besides the, the back side and the right side is a little wet, but other than that, <laughs> the rain kind of just dripping down along the bleachers. It's a one-two pitch. A couple of those hits, uh, the one inning just uh, very two which is uh, just went to the right spot to get infield hits. And nobody... Uh, with an opportunity to pitch their best game in this game. I give the pitchers a lot of credit, and the catchers, like, you can feel a nice warm of bus. They might hope in the ball game, winning a 12 to 2, three runs in the first, uh, three runs, uh, two runs in the uh, third inning, another couple runs in the fifth, and then five runs in the sixth, which everybody just would find it a miracle if they got those five runs in the, uh, the sixth inning. And they held on to the 10 run rule, KML, in this ball game by a score of 12 to 2. So if you enjoyed our uh, presentation, we're going to try to tear everything down and not get too wet here. Have yourself an excellent Thursday night. This has been Wapan Lady Warrior Softball on RP Sports.